Uh, and with that, I'll uh, yield five minutes to my colleague, Mr. Reberg, and uh, take Mr. Larson's words to, to our, he, his words about let's come on the Appropriations Committee and help out there. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I really, truly appreciate the opportunity to sit at the dais and for the rest of the committee as well. Uh, when I left this committee in 2005, I had built so much seniority, I was almost sitting where Mr. Tester is right this minute. Um, and I'd love to have you join my committee, Rick. Uh, that would be great. Right now, my sister-in-law is visiting. She is, of course, from your home district. She's a tea partier. You want me to keep her? So you, you make your choice. Do you want me to keep my sister-in-law in Billings or let you join the... I love all my constituents. <laughs> Good answer. I also want to welcome my colleague, John Tester, who accepted my invitation to join us here today from the lower chamber. Um, and... That's actually an inside joke in Montana because he was a senator in Montana and I was the representative and we finally surveyed the floor and found out that in fact the Senate was what, about a quarter of an inch lower than the House. And so we always referred to the Senate as the lower chamber in Montana. I look forward to working with Senators Tester and Bacchus and the two agencies and companies represented on the panel to accomplish two critical things today. First, we need to figure out what went wrong so we can determine what can be done to prevent it from happening again. And second, I want to be absolutely certain that we're doing everything that can be done to mitigate the environmental health and economic impact from the spill. For many, it's just another news story about an oil spill. But for Montanans, this is about our home. Water and rivers play a big role in the lives of many Montanans. For the McLean family in the famous movie, A River Runs Through It, it was the big, the big Blackfoot River. For me and my family, it's the Yellowstone River. I grew up in Billings, just a few miles from the riverbanks of the Yellowstone. As a boy, I swam and fished that river. I spent time with my family and friends floating down it in inner tubes and barbecuing on its banks. You could say that like thousands of other Montana families, the Yellowstone is our family river. So this oil spill is a pretty big deal for us. We have questions, and we deserve answers. As Montana's congressman, I fly into Billings just about every week. I fly over the Yellowstone River, but I also fly over the oil refinery that provides good, many, uh, many good jobs for our community. Just like the river is a part of Montana's culture, so is the energy industry. Montana is a warehouse of energy options. We've got it all, wind, solar, geothermal, biomass, oil, coal, gas, biofuels. This energy option help us provide the energy this country needs and to end our energy addiction on oil from foreign countries. It also provides good paying jobs. While there might be some people out there who think we should develop our resources without any regard for the environment, that's not me. And there are others who think we should stop all human impact on the environment whatsoever. That's not me either. Neither of these options works for Montana. Montanans demand a third option, a way to utilize our natural resources while doing everything we can to protect our environment. It's a reasonable and responsible expectation. The United States is leading the way in providing clean, effective energy. We're not perfect, but when there's a spill or a mistake, you won't find a more scrutinized response anywhere in the world. This is one of the reasons domestic energy production is such a good idea. Our standard and expectations are so much higher than countries that we import oil from. A kilowatt hour of energy produced in the United States on balance is going to be cleaner and safer than the kilowatt hour of energy we import. In Montana, one of the most valuable resources is nature itself. Montanans get it. We hunt, we hike. We don't just visit the outdoors. We live there. That's why I've always said Montanans are excellent stewards of the land and that we don't need federal bureaucrats telling us how to manage our lands and wildlife. This spill was a failure. That did not live up to our standards. And I want to know why. I want to know what is being done and what more needs to be done to prevent it from happening again. It's because energy is such an important part of our economy that it's so important to acknowledge our mistakes so that we can learn from them. I appreciate everyone for being here today. I look forward to hearing your testimony and asking some questions. I hope I ask some tough questions. But that's only because it's so important for Montana. And whether you're a part of the energy industry or an environmental steward, you're a big part of our Montana family. Again, Mr. Chairman, thank you so very much for having this hearing today. It means a lot to me that you would care as much about Montana as we care about Montana. And again, Mr. Tester, welcome to, the, to uh, testify as well. Thank you.